Hello my friends, in today's video we will take a look at Insta360 Flow. This is a smartphone gimbal that does some things a bit differently. Insta360, a well-known manufacturer of 360 cameras, has decided to enter the saturated smartphone gimbal market and they have done so with a very innovative product. In this video we will take a look at the performance and the feature set of the Insta360 Flow in combination with the iPhone 14 Pro and I will try to help you decide whether it is the right smartphone gimbal for you. Insta360 Flow uses a unique configuration which allows it to have some distinctive features. Unlike on basically all other gimbals, the battery is stored in the vertical arm. That means that the handle can be used for other purposes. We will get to that later. The Flow weighs 369 grams, which is still on the lighter side. It is just under 16 cm long in the folded state, which makes it very travel friendly. I've been carrying it in a jacket pocket with no issues. The build quality is on a very high level. It is made of plastics, but the quality of the materials is above average. Everything is very well put together and I can say that it looks and feels like a premium product. Here I also have to mention the translucent design on the vertical arm. It shows a beautiful circuit board design and the battery. This is a fairly popular design element nowadays and I absolutely love it. It certainly gets some extra points for me for this. The creator kit that I have here also comes with a translucent carrying bag. Besides that you will get an LED light, USB-C and lightning cables to connect the smartphone to the gimbal and USB-C cable for charging. Insta360 has taken advantage of the free space in the handle by integrating the grip extension and table tripod into the gimbal. I think that this is a great idea. Not having to worry about the table tripod is a very welcome design change. Importantly, the tripod legs won't come apart until you fully extend the metal part, so it works very well as a grip extension. Besides the tripod, there is also a telescoping selfie stick hidden in the grip. That really is a very efficient use of space. The grip itself is very basic, but good enough for me personally. If it's not good enough for you, you can use the included rubber sleeve. That might significantly improve the ergonomy, but I personally don't use it. One of the main highlights of the flow is the one-step deployment. You basically just need to attach your phone with a magnetic clamp to the gimbal and rotate the vertical arm away from the grip. The gimbal will turn itself on and you are good to go. Subsequently, when you turn the gimbal off, it will pre-fold itself, so you just need to rotate the grip part. The magnetic clamp is wide enough for iPhone 14 Pro in any reasonably sized case. That might sound obvious, but I have my reasons to mention it in every smartphone gimbal review. It is always a good idea to balance the smartphone as much as possible, but the flow is very forgiving, so if you roughly remember where to place the clamp, it will work fine. Overall, the fast deployment system is a real deal. So how about the performance? As usual, please note that I am testing this gimbal with iPhone 14 Pro and your results may vary if you use it with a different smartphone. The performance of this combination is fantastic. As I've explained in my other smartphone gimbal reviews, the built-in stabilization in 14 Pro is excellent by itself. Insta360 Flow takes care of larger movements that are beyond the capabilities of the internal stabilization and makes the user input smoother. I've generally been getting very smooth footage with this combination. The motors are very responsive and the behavior is very predictable. It has some heft to it, which contributes to smooth walking footage, but there is one caveat. If you use pen follow mode, which is the most suitable mode for walking, the tilting motion is quite limited, so you can't tilt the gimbal forward to achieve the best walking performance. Fortunately, it is possible to fix that by using the joint, which is a part of the selfie stick, and get the angle that way. Despite that, more tilting range would be nice. The joystick only has on-off positions, so it is not possible to modulate the speed. There are only three speed settings available, and the slow setting is unfortunately way too fast for panning. I was able to achieve pretty smooth panning the old-fashioned way by moving the gimbal, so it is not that big of a deal. The performance with an ultra-wide lens is also great as expected. 
That one doesn't have sensor stabilization, but the digital stabilization in combination with a gimbal works great. The performance with a telephoto lens is great for static shots and for some pointing the camera around, which is all that I can ask. Overall, I am very happy with the performance. This innovative configuration doesn't really have any negative effects on the performance, apart from the tilting range, which can be fixed. It does what a modern smartphone gimbal should do, so I am happy with that. Regarding the modes, you have 5 modes available. You have the pen follow mode, where the gimbal follows your panning movements and locks the other axes. In the lock mode, all of the axes are locked and the gimbal will keep the camera pointed in the same direction. In follow mode, the gimbal will follow your panning and tilting movements. POV mode is similar to the follow mode, but here the gimbal will also follow your rolling movements. The last mode is the barrel roll mode, where you can rotate the camera to get spinning shots. There is also a active plus mode, which is basically a sports mode. Insta360 offers an additional LED light and it does so in a very smart way. This little light can be attached onto the smartphone clamp and then you can plug it into the USB-C port on the gimbal. The light offers 3 levels of brightness and 3 color temperature settings. It is very useful as a fill light when you are filming yourself and it can also light the scene a little bit. There is also a cold shoe hidden in the vertical arm. This is a very convenient way to connect the microphone to your smartphone while using a gimbal. The controls are pretty simple. On the front side we have a on-off button, record button and a switch button. The switch button allows you to switch between vertical and horizontal orientation. The follow modes can be changed by swiping on the touch sensitive dial. It is quite cool and I got used to it pretty quickly, but in terms of the practicality, I would probably prefer a button. The outer ring can be used for zooming. On the back side we have a joystick. Single press activates tracking, double press recenters the gimbal and triple press rotates it. The flow uses Insta360's general app, simply called Insta360. If you use other Insta360 products, such as their excellent action cameras or 360 cameras, it is very positive because you don't have to install another app. Insta360 app has always been one of the best, regardless of the specific product. It offers all of the usual settings that you can find on most smartphone gimbals, such as the scene mode or flow mode as they call it here, joystick settings and so on. It allows you to shoot 4K in all frame rates, including PAL options, which is great. One of the main features of the app is tracking. Insta360 calls it Deep Track 3.0 and it works great. The tracking itself is as smooth as it gets. The subject detection is extremely reliable and it was always able to guess which object in the frame it should track. A special feature is that it will continue tracking a subject even if it gets far from the camera. If a human subject disappears from the frame, the app will remember who it was tracking and it will resume once the subject gets back in the frame. Overall the tracking works great, I have no complaints in this regard. Insta360 app also offers interesting AI editing features and other smart features. Insta360 Flow uses a 2600 mAh non-removable battery. The battery life should be around 12 hours, which is a lot more than most people can withstand. The battery life definitely won't be an issue with Insta360 Flow. As expected, the battery can be charged through USB-C. The charging speed is quite solid. To sum up, Insta360 Flow is an innovative take on a smartphone gimbal design that works very well. It is a great choice for smartphone filmmakers who are looking for a compact, trail-friendly gimbal that is also very user-friendly. The performance is really good as expected. It works great in combination with iPhone 14 Pro. The build quality is excellent and I really like the design, especially the translucent part. A standout features for me personally are the quick deploy system and excellent tracking capabilities. The only three minor issues are limited tilting range in pen follow mode, a bit clunky touch sensitive follow mode dial and a joystick without the option to modulate the speed. Other than that, it is a very well performing, innovative gimbal which means that I can highly recommend it.
So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.